Okay, I'm gonna try to make sure I explain things as best as possible. As far as all the products that I'm using, you guys, they're link down below my storefront on Amazon under the wig essentials category. Um, so yeah, just check that out. I'm basically using the BW2 bleaching powder and then some Clairol 40 volume developer. So as far as like measurements, I don't really go by measurements. What I do is I start by putting in one scoop of the bleaching powder and then the developer I just kind of eyeball it because the consistency that you want it to be is going to be equivalent to like toothpaste so you don't want it too runny and watery and you don't want it too chalky and hard either you're going to want something in between all that now I'm going to be bleaching more than one wig but just for the sake of this video don't use that much product for a closure wig because you don't need it but like I said I'm doing a couple of wigs during this bleaching session so yeah, I turn the wig inside out and then I spread the bleach mixture on with a plastic knife. Now you want to make sure that you're not pressing down too hard so that the bleach does not seep and get onto the actual hair because then you'll have to go in and correct that, which is easy to do, but we wanna kind of minimize little mistakes like that. So I'm pressing down just enough to get it on the lace, but not for it to seep through the knot. Once I've applied all of the bleach, I do let it sit for about 30 minutes. So about every 10 minutes, I do go in and check on the hair. And I'm just checking to make sure to see if the knots are actually turning. Now, because all hair is different, um, some hair from different hair companies bleaches and processes faster and slower than one another. So you really just have to keep an eye on it. You want it to look like the knots or the roots of the hair are slightly blonde. Now, these are the two products that I'm immediately gonna go in after I rinse this bleach off with. So if you find that your knots are a little bit brassy and on the orange side, then go in with the blue shampoo. If you find that they are a little bit more blonde and too much on the yellow side, go in with the purple shampoo. Um, trust me, you guys, using the correct color shampoo makes a world of a difference when it comes to toning your knots. So once I go in with the blue shampoo, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and let that sit on the hair for about 15 minutes and then I'm gonna come back to rinse it out. And this is what the final results are. Now to begin the plucking process, some people might say it's easier to pluck the hair when it's dry. Some people might say it's easier to pluck it when it's wet. I do both, but for the sake of this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to pluck the hairline while it is wet, just because I feel like the knots come out, or the hair comes out just a little bit more easier. So I'm just sectioning off a little bit of hair and I'm gonna start plucking behind the hairline. So my technique and concept have not changed. What I'm gonna do is pluck a section, skip a section, pluck a section, skip a section, and keep that same pattern all across the hairline. Now you guys will see me at some point go ahead and part out my middle part, which is what I encourage you guys all to do because you wanna make sure that whatever part you're gonna be wearing, that you don't over pluck that part. Before you start plucking what you can do is go ahead and make your part that way you can make sure that you know what area to avoid so I'm just gonna keep plucking in the same direction I feel like it'll be easier if you guys can actually just watch me do it and then that will be that
And then to get the wig nice and flat, I'm just gonna go ahead and go in with my normal process, which will be using the uh, Care Care Wax Stick. I'm gonna use a little bit of spritz as well. And then the main uh, thing that you're gonna need is a hot comb, because that's gonna get the wig super flat. So that is all a part of the customization part, is styling it on the mannequin head. It just makes it a little bit easier for when you go to install it. Okay, so I've put the wig on my head now and then to tint the lace, all I do is use whatever foundation I'm wearing for that day. I just literally put that, um, whatever's left over my foundation brush, I go ahead and put it on uh, underneath the lace. So today I happen to be wearing the uh, Juvia's Place Eye and Magic Foundation on my face. So that's what was left over. So all I did was put it underneath and then that's how we get to this point here. Now there's a couple different ways that you can go about tinting your lace. You can go on with foundation. You can actually go on with a lace tint. Um, you can use like a brown type of hair dye. There's just a few different ways to do it But basically you want to make sure that you go ahead and tint it so that it looks um, Closest to like scalp color or your skin tone the closure ways as you guys can see they have these thick tabs here on The edge of the lace on both sides. So I'm going to start by cutting that off first and I'm just using like some little eyebrow scissors Because you want to make sure you don't leave any of that behind because that part is um, Going to be visible if you do leave it so just cut it off. And then to install this today, I'm gonna use my Bold Hold Liquid Gold. You can grab that, you can grab the even Wonder Lace Spray or whatever it is that you choose to use. So I'm just gonna use this just because I haven't used it in a while. I've been so stuck on using the spray and I'm forgetting that this works just as well. So I have a little bit on my finger here and then I'm just going to Put it on my forehead just like a thin thin layer you don't need a ton of this stuff just a nice thin layer I'm gonna go ahead and put the lace right on top of it and I'm gonna use my comb to press it in kind of push the hair back Now that I got it right where I want it to be, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull out what I'm gonna use for my edges. If you don't plan on doing edges, then you can go ahead and skip this step. And now what I'm gonna do is go in with an elastic band. I'm just gonna leave this on here for like five minutes. So while that's helping to further melt this lace, I'm just gonna go ahead and press out this wig. Okay, so after you've done all your finishing touches, you should be left with a perfectly laid plug to perfection glueless wig. Now it's glueless because we didn't use any lace glue. We just used a like uh, stronger adhesive as an alternative. So just keep in mind that the Bold Hold Liquid Gold, this is not a lace glue. If anything, this is more 
like the black got to be gel it just has a really strong hold but not to get this confused this is not glue you guys so technically this was a glueless install i've already reviewed a wig like this on my channel before and i absolutely loved it so if you guys haven't checked out that review i will link it down below but this wig is the exact same concept it is one of those 100 percent glueless wigs where it has no adjustable straps in it and no combs at all it the cap on it is very comfortable is very breathable but these kind of wigs i love at first i was a little bit skeptical when i first got one of these kind of wigs because it's like if it doesn't have anything to like grip and stay in place how is it supposed to stay in place but this is a average cap size so it's meant to be a one size fits all like i said the cap fits pretty snug it'll kind of you know expand to fit your head shape once you put it on i don't have any issues with it moving then if i didn't already mention it does come with an elastic band in it now it is detachable i actually took mine out because i really don't need it because that's how good the wig fits but that's the only thing that you will see inside this wig cap is just an elastic band but i mean that's going to be up to your preference honestly you don't need it like i said i'm not using it so it's really not necessary but it is there just in case you feel like you want that extra security this is a new hair company that i came across you guys i think i threw the packaging away so my bad but the name of this hair company is arabella hair this is their straight 100 percent glueless 5x5 hd lace closure wig i have it in 26 inches and the density on it is 180 percent density and also it did come slightly pre-plucked which I love because it kind of gives you a guide of where to actually go in and do like some major plucking at and I didn't pluck too much um, with this wig as you guys can see and I'm double checking my tracking number you guys this hair got to me literally in two days so the shipping on it was very fast now I don't want you guys to order this and yours comes in like four days four days is still not that bad but just consider that it is around the time of the holidays they have some actually really good sales going on their website so make sure that when you guys do click the link if you're interested in this way that you take advantage of the coupon codes that are there because they're there for you guys to use to save money um this hair hasn't really given me any problems thus far it's very silky and straight um it wasn't hard for me to bleach the knots at all the knots bleached rather easy which i loved and then the lace on this way you guys is pretty darn good i'm very satisfied with how thin it is how easy it was to melt it so there's no issues or complaints there else it's true to length the ends of the hair are nice and healthy and yeah like I said, I've been feeling very lucky and fortunate to come across some wigs that are not like terrible because lately you guys I've been getting, I, well for a moment I was getting wigs that were just like kind of okay and I was like not doing videos on wigs that were just like okay because I didn't feel like it was worth it for me to put in all that effort just for the hair to be very disappointing but I've been coming across some pretty darn good wigs so hopefully you guys value my feedback and opinion on a lot of these wigs that I review. I know a lot of you guys do so I do appreciate that. A link to this wig will be in my description box. If you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.